when they came out with this arc, when they when they finally animated, they came out swinging. But we are going to see who's going to start swinging here. Rocket on PS2. Soul Arts not immediately popping the Solar as uh, the Monado Arts as well in Eliakim. Just kind of look at the scrap alone, get that grenade action going on. There's the first instance of it. There is speed coming out. We're going to see how he plays around and maneuvers around the grenades as well. Tra trying to trap with the C4 on the platform as well. Eliakim throwing out that up tilt to anticipate. She'll kind of just mash that arrow pressure on top of him. But here we go. Snake set up for the ledge trap as well. Beautiful tech from Solar. It's going to get himself in this game. Avoiding the grenades as well. The speed going on in. There's that double fair. Oh, oh I guess the single fair. The jump to kind of just cover him on the high. And that's what I was talking about from before. Shulk has that art to just kind of contest Snake anywhere on top of the stage. But, you know, when you're swinging like that, grenades definitely going to leave a wrench in your plans. But as long as you come out in an okay position, you're not too much of an uh, disadvantaged state, you're going to be chong. And I like him. Going on high. Soul Arts looking to get the anti-air in with the Smash Monado Art. He will be going offline, though. There's the duck on under. Get a little bit of damage with the down tilt. That's what you need. Get that down tilt. That's what you need. I'm trying to up tilt as well. Trying to pop a stock. And Soul Arts anticipating um, the grenade as well. Trying to get a bit of a counter off. So the jumping auto not working out, unfortunately. Eliakim having that free free ledge trapping with the snake with the cypher. And I like the idea to retreat to the ledge. Nice combo as well with the grenade into the back air. Trying to go for it again as well. Soul Arts really wants to stop from Eliakim and take it he will with the up tilt. Because Smash Monado, when you pop in it, it's like that Kyle Ken boost, you know? It gives you the strength you need to just get those stocks that you need. But 89 against Snake. Um, you're kind of in a, a bit of a percent disadvantage here, and it's not so good. And Solar switching to the Buster, maybe look at the tie up the tides. There's 14 on the board, he just needs to get a one consultant grab on in, but unfortunately he's not going to be able to do it with 158. This is a very scary situation to be in with Snake, because when Snake grabs you, he can just uh, put you in a chokehold and just close it on out. That's still not going to kill though. Switches to the Shula to kind of saw it on it. Dodge into the Cypher as well. He's going to be putting himself in a pretty solid situation. And he's kind of really just looking to get the center back from Eliakim. But Eliakim is not only really giving it to him with the, the grenades and those solid rolling options that he has in the center. But Swords, he was still fighting for a bit. He did get 60 up on the board, but that stock is going to be going to Eliakim right now. Yeah, so it's really going to be placing here. Gonna have to hold down this middle, just lock down these zones, not allow Snake to really grenade pull or just let him land if he does so. But mashing on the grenade and the shield, some things you just don't want to do. In that instance, you can kind of just go for the grab because they know you're going to just mash the arrow on the shield. And anticipating the high as well, he had the right idea. He was in that position, but he did not pull that trigger. Well, I can just hovering above around. But here's the Smash Monado. It's definitely capable and just... Ooh. You see, when you have Smash Monado, your launch distance increases. And Snake Dash Attack is already a really good option with a lot of solid kill power. So that was just enough to do him in in this situation. I'm sorry, that was kind of GG's. But in that instance, Soul Arts really wanted to get the the neutral get up and just grab from the ledge to get the back throw. Because that, that would have killed in that instance. It would have killed for sure. But well, I can just roll on eyes like... Alright, you're busting it up, I'm just dash attacking away. If this whiffs, I still got another stock to play around. I'm still chilling. But we are rocking it back to PS2. Now we're going to see what Solars can change up on his game plan this time around. He definitely has to mix in a lot more grabs. Because the grenades, when you're just mashing on it, they are uh, not your best friend. Okay? Definitely not your best friend. But you can see, he does have really good spacing around uh, the grenades with his airs as well. You can see it on the neutral airs. So you do know that he's played this matchup quite a few times as well. He definitely knows his ins and outs. He's definitely just kind of mixing up his options, making those right decisions when the opportunity arises. Like these grenades as well. These grenades, they kind of got hands. They do have, they have handles on them for a reason. That's staying for a little too long on the ledge. The up smash going to be trapping. And I've been looking to trap this landing as well, but Solar's gonna make it fine down to the ground. At 71, trying to go for the smash right to end it all with that spike. 
Goliath can crawl into the trenches is still in this going on high to stall out the smash aura. Really liking it. This grenade to kind of respect that himself on the platform. Can't be mashed, can't be getting any of that damage on up because you get the throw, that's it, you're just dead. Choke hold it out, hit him with the up, to, up tilt. That's it, that's all you. There. Ooh, I like that. He kind of, that was a little funny OS move. I like him. He kind of goofed up a little bit. It's all right. Still got that lead. Trying to go on high with the jump art as well. Forcing that air dodge too. Zolorts had that, but Eliakim was just like, oh shoot, I'm gonna just get out of here. But there's this drop in the Smash Monado. All right, popping it with the back here. All right, Detroit, get your damage up. You can take this hit. Bad situation to be in, but hovering above the cipher with the upbeat as well. And saw, and just stalling out. Kind of react to that option coming to you as well. It's gonna be really good. Put the jab check. Oh, hit him with the strike throw. And blowing up with the cipher. Cipher. Oh, I blew up with the cipher as a jumping auto. Hit him with the double whammy. Alright, down tilt, dash attack it away. I'd be very surprised if that's true. But if that's a diary, that's crazy. And trying to two frame as well with the S smash, like him is definitely looking to end this right now. But the grenade, it's trade. Going to be given a little bit of a DBZ situation as well. But that grenade not working off of that platform. Solar is able to get a combo extension off of it, and you can see he's utilizing the Lycan's grenades this time around him. This is true warfare out here. Not able to get a shield poke as well on that up air, unfortunately. You do have a really good position right here to kind of just hang around with the jump banana to steal yourself the stock. But this is looking so much in uh, Eliakim's favor right now. And you can see him being really patient. Oh, I love that. He knows that Solar has 97. A snake hit from this close is definitely going to get you. He's definitely going to kill you. So he was confident. He was really solid just staying contempt and shield like that. So where he can just get the up smash punish. And now, Solars could potentially make this comeback with the Bus Renato. He just has to watch that percent threshold and not cross the 160, because that's going to lead to a grab where it's try and true. You grab, you die. Within the grab, though, chucking him with the shield art. 72 for Eliakim, trying to call it out with the backer as well. Solars answering back with his own backer. Definitely looking to force this game three situation. And Eliakim, you can see him trying to slow it down this time around because Solar is kind of speeding up too much. He knows when he can hang back like this, he can build up the chit damage with the grenade so he can just get the grab. And there you go, you're seeing it there that's forcing the throw for this edge guard situation, but dodging through the cypher, he's gonna be making it with the jump, and not open! The get up attack, unfortunately, extending his hurt box to where he's just speeding face to face with the boots of snake. Definitely getting sent back to that boot camp. Sorry, Shulker. Sending you back